15th tattoos friday Ooh. <gasps> um, get a job like a real one i know if if florida like actually paid enough to survive on i would i really would like social media drains me so much i'm realizing and like with the sobriety thing i do want to like really just like focus on my health and my wealth but also like i do have to run wyatt's game so like even if i cut out my own i'm still having to do like 60 rounds a day just for his just to keep his stuff going so you want to finish your degree still yeah that's why i think i was going to start doing the battles because i want to save up to go back to school Addie's made me so productive yeah i'm not trying to jump from one thing to another people are already like saying i'm not on a sobriety journey because i go out drinking like once a month but Maybe I'll just cut that out so I could just stop the haters, but I don't really like to do shit just because people are hating on me. Like I, I really try to prevent that. Cause then it's like you become somebody that you don't want to be and becoming like something for like other people not living for myself. So that's like the issue that I have with that. Um, I work in accounting. Girl, you do not want to see me do math. You just do not, you don't want to see it. I make it way too complicated. Like. I wasn't bad at math. I always passed with good grades and stuff, but that's I thought I have to go to school for. So maybe I'll go to school for accounting, period. <laughs> but that's like not something I can just jump into right now. Don't post about it. Well, I show my whole life. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like that's not really good advice either. Cause then y'all will be so mad when somebody posts a video like, I saw her drinking outside. And then you're like, why didn't you tell us? And it's like, well, you told me not to post about it. So <laughs> there's no winning with social medias, y'all. Like there's no winning. No, haters are gonna hate no matter what, but it's just, I do want the people who like actually genuinely care about me and love me like to know like I'm on my own journey. Maybe it's like a different word. Maybe I'm just like, I'm not, it's, cause I guess sobriety is like living a nun life, right? So I wouldn't even be vaping either, right? Like, I don't know. I have a bad habit, I prescribe them, but I also have severe anxiety and I keep running short. Yeah, I have a lot of friends who actually are prescribed them in LA and they still get like super bad headaches. And honestly, like it's a little worrisome. Thomas, thank you for the heart me. You can make so much money if you have a platform and want to do lashes or something. That is a thing as well, but honestly that that um, beauty thing is so oversaturated and a lot of, you would think because you have a platform that it would be, um, sorry, it's like my Ross receipt, that you would be like pumping it out. But a lot of people just kind of come to you so that they can make like a video saying like, she didn't do what I wanted or like really critique you. And honestly, I feel like I just don't need, I don't need the critique right now. Any advice? Um, I'll make a YouTube about it because I feel like a lot of the words I'm about to say could get bananaed on here. Um, but I will. YouTube's in my BIO. But the beauty business is failing. Lots of lash goals are down bad. I've just seen it firsthand. So it's just, if I like lived with my parents and like didn't have like super adult bills i definitely would do something like that but it's just it's not it's not as lucrative as y'all think thank you jade it's in my bio um thank you thomas for the team bracelets you're on self-care love journey it looks different for everyone not one size fits all exactly and i do feel like obviously I don't wake up being like, oh, I need, I need a, I need a, I need a baddie, baddie shot o'clock. Like, it's really not like that. Like, if anything, it's just, I just like going out into the environment. I like getting cute. I like, I like seeing other people have fun. I like, you know, there's just certain aspects about it, but it's definitely not, um, it's not like a hobby of mine at all. Thank you for the team bracelet. Thank you for the rose. 
girl, I'm fixing to get a part-time job. This world is so hard nowadays. I know, I want to be like, I think because I love going out and honestly, the drinking part is just kind of like extra. Maybe I'll be like a bottle girl. Maybe it'll like persist me to be like really way more healthy and like work out if I want to be like real cute when I go and work, you know? Like that might be what I need to do. Ooh, I think we're onto something. I think we're fucking onto something. I think we're onto something. You can work in a construction office. Doing what? You have to remember I have a neck tattoo. Try acting. Um, I have a neck tattoo and I'm a little chubby. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's the thing too is like, that's way harder than y'all think too. Like, it's not just like you wake up and you're like, I think I'm just gonna be an actor now. Like a lot of these people have been doing acting classes their whole life. Like you have to remember, I used to live in LA. Like, I'm very aware of, like, the children, like, that start when they're super young, like, you know, doing Gap commercials and stuff. I'm 25 years old. <laughs> like, I feel like a bottle girl would be a toxic environment for you and your mental health. That's kind of why I haven't really gone out into the world yet. Um, but I do have to pay this lawyer again, and I do have to... um because like the, everything get, get, keeps getting elongated, so there's more charges for every time that he goes to keep the courthouse, and then I have to pay this doctor for Wyatt again. So it's just like, everything's kind of like piling up, and I'm trying to like take out as much as I can that's like not important stuff. Um, honestly, maybe I like shouldn't have moved when I did, but it's like, I'm already here, I'm already in a lease. I like, there's, there's nothing I can really do about it. Thank you for the ice cream cone. And I'm trying to push myself to play all the rounds that I used to do. But it's like, but then like, I feel like when I go for like six hours, eight hours working, I feel like my dog suffers. So then I'm like, okay, well, let's go for a walk. And then I go for a walk and then I come back and then I'm like, I get distracted because I'm like hungry. Thank you, Shannon, for subscribing. I followed you back, boo. So you're so real and relatable. I think you'd be a great fit for a podcast. Well, why, Kelly, you're about to lose your subscription. Um, when I was 27, I made it as a single mom. Nothing is going to stop me. I hear a lot of excuses. Okay. Oh, you made it as an actor? Sorry. I'm so confused. I'm thanking God that I'm not at the point where I need to like sell a bag or anything, but I could sell a bag if I like need to at some point, but I just need to, I just like to catch things before things are bad. Like I just, I feel like my mental is a little bit strained right now. I feel like I can't focus on my phones as much as I used to. I feel like I'm like, I'm like, um, I'm just like not able to put as many hours into it. I don't think people realize how many hours I put into my games, but do you still be on the phone with your husband? I haven't seen you in a while. 